Hey there, welcome back. So, uh, let's uh, finish up this round. So what you can see here is that the Raj goes next and we gotta do the, um, the procedure here. So let's see what it says. It says, active faction will be first eligible in the upcoming critical, and that is not true. Uh, first eligible chose Ops plus SA, that's not true. Will be first eligible in the upcoming card. The answer is no. It's going to actually be the Revolutionaries. You can see the other card up there. Eligible chose Ops only, or first eligible chose Ops plus SA, but event is not effective. Well, we chose Ops only, so they are going to do a limited op. Um, so they will take their turn, and they're going to do the limited op there, and we're going to go ahead and get rid of this card. Okay, so let's draw and see what. Die roll less than or equal to, I don't even need to roll a die. They have one, two, three. Well, actually, they have five troops, so we do need to roll. I rolled a six. My goodness. Um, so we got to draw a new card. Any two pop spaces at active opposition? Uh, no, there are none that are at active opposition. Any unground gorillas in support spaces? Um, yes, there are. And that would be here, Madras Presidency, and also here in Bombay. And up there, there's actually quite a few. Troops in cities exceed the troops in provinces. Um, that is not true. Well, it is true. There's one troop in the cities and there's zero in the provinces. So, <laughs> um, so I guess, yes, that's true. So we'll, we'll stay in the path. So they're going to do a govern in two spaces. So they're going to remove a protest. So um, this is uh, actually going to be interesting. I'm feeling excited. We're doing a new AI here. We know what govern does uh, because uh, we've played as the Raj. And Govern, as you know, is where they can do Imperialism. And you can see that that's their second priority. Or uh, their top priority here is they want to remove any protests where there's no activists. That's their top priority. Okay, well, there's only two protest markers. That one has an activist. Um, and then West Bengal also has an activist. So uh, that's not uh, going to happen. So instead, they're going to do Imperialism for up to a DR... Uh, die roll is what that stands for. Total shifts and up to a, is that really a die roll? DR? Because you can only do two total shifts normally. Oh, up to a DR total shifts and markers removed using shift to support. So here you can see it's up to restraint with all troops and with supplies max. Uh, that's not what the special activity... Okay, so we're going to do a die roll here. I rolled a five. So for up to five places, or five total shifts, uh, that's actually a little cheaty McCheaterson there. And markers removed using shift to support. Okay, so shift to support, what that's just saying is we need to use their priority table, which for the first time we're going to use here. Shift to support, you can see they want to do two pop... No protest with unrest markers. Interesting. And most opposition, neutral. Okay, so just looking at the two pop spaces first with no protest, that I think is everywhere except for West Bengal and Bihar, right? Because those two have protest markers. So they're out. And then they're looking for unrest. So there's only one place with unrest, that's East Bengal. So um, it said uh, up to five total shifts, because we rolled a dice die roll, we got five. Well, you can only do two per space per the action. So they're gonna do one, and that takes that away, which is gonna make us lose two points. And then they're gonna do two, which adds support, okay? Now what's interesting is, um, I thought you could only do this on places where you had control. 
So let me check that real quick. Nope, it's any two spaces with cubes. Okay, so they just gain two points. And then we, is that really all opposition is off the board? Oh my gosh. We just lost two points and so did they. We're both sitting at zero. My gosh, we're just getting creamed. Okay, so that was uh, two shifts there. So now we gotta keep going. And so the next priority after the unrest marker is most opposition. Well, there is no opposition, so then it's neutral. So they want to do a neutral place over um, a, you know, a place that already has support. Well, that's Punjab. So we're going to go up here, and you're going to see they're going to shift this times two. And so that's going to give them four points. One, two, three, four. This is very cheaty. For them to be able to do five shifts like this, um, we would only ever get to do two. Um, So imperialism. Oh, uh, well, imperialism removes unrest. So this unrest marker would have been removed first. And in our case, that's all that happens. Um, but then you're doing five shift to supports. So the question is, is, should they be allowed to do two shift to supports there? I honestly don't know that question, but answer, but I'm gonna play it the way we would have played it. So the unrest marker goes away. They didn't actually get two shifts there. So that's one to remove the unrest marker, and then two, three. Okay, so um, we still have the two points, just like they do, and they lose two points. Um, but they still got more to do. And so um, if you keep looking around at the two pop places, um, they get to do two more shifts. So uh, we're gonna just roll a die because it's gonna be... Well, actually it says the next priority is Muslim state and then random space. So uh, random space is where we're at. So let me roll. I rolled a 3-4. The three region is uh, United Provinces. So here you can see this is a fourth shift. We got one more to go, so it's going to be two more points for them. And I'm going to go ahead and roll. And I rolled a 6-5, which is Bombay Presidency. No, 6-5 is Madras. So that's this one. So now we just did five shifts. And um, that gives them four more points. One, two, three, four. Very cheaty. I didn't like that at all. Um, I mean, that's like killer that they were able to do that. But, um, okay, so let's keep going. Now they're going to do sweep. Using the move priorities, sweep in place, most support first. All right, so um, sweep, of course, is moving the troops out. And they're going to do the move priority. So there's a couple of things going on here. The first thing I want to point out is that sweep does have a priority list of where they want to sweep to, okay? But then there's this move priority here. Um, so select a destination using the space selection priority table. That's this, okay? So sweep is a space with no Raj control. Well, there's a lot of those. So um, we need more. So they're going to try to go to a two pop. And then a place with a protest marker. And that now narrows it down quite a bit. It's either Bihar or West Bengal, right? And so fewest active adversaries, which is West Bengal, because that has two, whereas Bihar has three. So we got our sweep location figured out, one of them at least. Now, um, the sweep can go up to restraint. Um, so restraint is three right now. So they can sweep to three places. But let's we, we got the first destination. Now we have to select the origin, the space with the most friendly cubes, not already selected as a destination. Okay, so uh, that would be Delhi, and you can see uh, sweep 
By the way, you still have to follow the rules of sweep. In order to go to West Bengal, you have to follow the railroads, which Delhi works, Calcutta works, and Bombay. You can't take a railroad, for example, from Madras. Well, actually, yeah, you can, because it actually goes all the way up. Uh, Karachi does not. It goes to Delhi first. So Karachi is the only one that's really not eligible. But um, just a quick look. You can see Delhi has the most. So that's going to be in origin. And then it says select destination. Oh, I'm sorry. Then it says keep one troop and one support at each two pop, not at active support. Um, well, we're not moving from... We're moving from a city, so that's not um, that's not applicable. Keep sufficient pieces to lose no Raj control. Um, so uh, in this case, you can see there. There's a one activist there, so we want to we want to keep behind two pieces, right? So if the destination is a city or a province, get one troop to the destination, and then otherwise get one Sepoy. So we want to leave two pieces behind because there's one piece there and it said keep pieces so you don't lose control. So we're going to assume that you need to at least keep two to maintain control if this were to ever become active. So these three pieces are going to move and they're going to go to West Bengal. That does give them control. So this goes up and that scores them two more points. Um, ah! Remember I said that they can do, um... oh my gosh. Oh, I'm not very smart some days. Okay, hold the phones, hold the presses. This is a limited operation. So that means they're gonna sweep to one place. We did that correctly. The sweep we just did is absolutely correct. The part that's not correct is there is no special activity. That special activity does not happen because this is a limited operation. There is no special activity. So, this was one. That's two points. This is two. That was two points. This one is three, four, which is four points. And then we gotta get that unrest marker back for five, okay? I forgot to take the two points away for removing that, so they're fine. In fact, uh, I have it wrong. This is two points, and this is two more for four. These guys should be at four. I don't know why they weren't. Okay? And then uh, I said it was two, four, six, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a huge loss of points, largely because we screwed them out of doing a full up. Um, so that's good, right? That particular card is very nasty if it ever were to activate. Um, but in this case, they didn't get to do any of that. So <clears throat> if you were watching this video and you were screaming at the screen, my apologies, I did eventually figure it out. <laughs> but yeah, you got to remember, this is a limited operation, so we don't do the whole card. Um, just one final explanation for anybody who's confused. This is a special activity. This does not allow for a special activity. So by us going here, we prevented them from getting a special activity. So all that stuff that we just figured out is gone. They only do the sweep. And we did that part correctly because they the limited operation means you sweep to one place, and they did, and they scored two points for that. So they actually did a good job with the one action they had. It's just that that other action, the special activity was gonna be amazing for them, but it's gonna not be. Okay, so they end. Now it is their turn, and you can see the revolutionary is going to get to go first. The next card after, um, we're going to go dead last on the next card. Um, let's see, West and East Bengal remove a gorilla in each space for every cube, or add up to three gorillas to East Bengal and or West Bengal, then flip any gorillas there. And, yeah, so this is completely useless for us. Uh, here, uh, we would do it to remove the gorillas. Um, but remember, uh, one of the things I'm deciding is, is I'm not trying to help the Muslims out. Um, so uh, that's not very helpful, I think, even if it wasn't a Muslim space. But Okay, so they're going to go. 
And uh, let's do the priorities here. <clears throat> you would think I'd have it memorized. I'm pretty sure they're going to do the ops plus SA, but I just want to make sure. Current event is critical and effective. No. Next eligible could choose a critical event. No. We'll be first eligible in an upcoming critical event. That, that's the upcoming card. It's not critical. Yeah, they're going to do ops and SA. And then while I have it, uh, let's see what the Muslims are going to do. Will they be first eligible in an upcoming critical event? No. Uh, is the event effective? Well, for them, they would do the top side. Remove up to a die roll of gorillas from any spaces. So uh, for the Muslims, if they can remove adversary pieces, that is a good thing. So they are going to do the event. And... Um, uh, this is where, um, see the uh, Arjuna deck, if I pronounce that correctly, the AI cards are great, but the thing that makes this game great is this non-player aid. Like, just this little chart right here is amazing. Um, telling you that they'll do an event if it adds or it moves or it removes. I mean, this is, that's, you know, an event is effective if. This is an amazing little chart, and... Um, uh, I do. I really like this game. It's at least equal with Pendragon, and you've seen how much I've gushed over Pendragon. Um, I still miss the battles. Pendragon has battles. I like the battles more. Um, when they come out with these Arjuna cards for Pendragon, I'm buying it in a heartbeat. Uh, there's no doubt about that. And like I said, the Revolutionary one is my top of the list, and I would really like the v Vietnam one. I'm not as interested in some of the other ones, um, but... Uh, Coin games are immediately becoming my all-time favorite if the if the bots are um, more manageable. And this game is proving that the bots can be manageable, and it's making this near the my favorite game of all time. Um, I honestly don't know what my favorite game of all time is. Skies Above the Reich is near the top for me. I totally, thoroughly enjoyed that game. Um, Brook City as far as co-ops go, is an amazingly fun game. Uh, I enjoy it more with other people than I do by myself. Um, but I do enjoy it. Uh, it has, like, all the stuff I love about a co-op game. Um, I mean, 18xx games are... Like, 18OE is a ton of fun. The um, Dungeon Lords is near one of my favorite... Um, so there's a lot of really good multiplayer ones, but as far as solitaire goes, this game is uh, is quite, quite good. Um, Robinson Crusoe, Spirit Island, um, also top my list as far as solitaire games go. Um, but anyways, uh, with that said, let's uh, go ahead and do our actions here. Six or more gorillas in India. The answer is yes. There is no crisis. They're going to infiltrate to replace an adversary. So just a reminder that infiltrate occurs in um, a space with an underground gorilla. And you replace a Sepoy activist or protest marker with an underground gorilla. Um, so that's what they're going to do. Um, they have no gorillas available. There's none. Uh, so I don't know how useful that is. So we're going to skip that and we're going to go to aid. So uh, aid is about gaining resources. So any space with gorillas, either activate one underground gorilla and add revolutionary resources equal to population, or pay a resource to flip all gorillas there to underground. So what's crazy is, is that doesn't help them either. Um, this is a useless action. They're, they can't replace. There's no gorillas here to uh, put on the board. And they can't go underground. Well, actually, they can go underground in one place here. So fine. They go back underground there. So that was the aid action. So here, die roll is less than or equal to available gorillas. It's impossible. There's none available. So we're going to flip the card. 
and any underground grill is where there's no unrest. And yes, there are. So we're gonna select spaces using place unrest, okay? So um, this is the unrest action, which we really don't see very often. Um, so let me put, put that, that here. So what they're trying to do is any location with underground gorilla, uh, there's no crisis. Um, first, in each space, activate one underground gorilla. Then if city, province, or state, shift one level towards neutral and add an unrest marker. If it's a railway, place a strike marker. We're not doing those. Then shift restraint minus one. Okay, so uh, they're going to, and then of course we gotta do that using the uh, AI. And it says using the place unrest. So let's look at the priority here for place unrest. Zoom you in a little. So this is place unrest, the first column. And you can see anywhere there's no unrest, that makes sense, uh, two pop. So uh, I'm, I know it's off camera, but I'm just telling you right now, there's uh, four places that are two pop that are eligible. The most gorillas, uh, there's two places that are tied with two gorillas. And then it says any NV is player most opposition. That would be Madras presidency. Because uh, the right here, there's two gorillas and it's a two pop place and then this is the most opposition. So, um, no, I'm sorry, most opposition is this stuff here. Uh, so they're both tied for most opposition. So let's keep going. It says random space. So random means we're probably gonna get this one uh, just because of the way the random works. But it's a, it's a two, three, and I'll show you real quick. So two, three is gonna shift this way, and then this way, and then these, and then we're gonna get the five, one, five, two, and see Bombay presidency gets it. So the unrest marker is gonna go there. And they are gonna score two points from that. So let's give them two points. All right, so that was a good move on their part. And they get to do it up to three times, right? Uh, the restraint is three, so we have to roll a die. And if they roll a four, five, or six, they get to do it again. And they rolled a two, so they're done. Um, so they could have put one here too and gotten more and more unrest out there, but um, uh, they did need to flip one of these to active and the restraint drops by one, which helps us. And in fact, I think the restraint was lower, wasn't it? When we took our turn, we were supposed to lower the restraint on our turn, weren't we? I believe the answer is yes. Yep, it is. So we're actually down to restraint of one. And when I rolled for them, I rolled a two, which still would have ended their uh, turn. So, because they were at a two, and then now they're causing it to go down to a one. So the restraint is super duper low now, but there's tons of protest markers out there for us. Okay, so now the Muslims go, and it says remove up to a die roll of gorillas from any spaces, then shift restraint minus two, which um, uh, the restraint's already as low as it can go. But um, so even if we were concerned, uh, that was an awful roll for them. And it turned out to be an awful event. They're gonna remove a gorilla. And I'm assuming it's gonna be from a Muslim space, but we're gonna check. Uh, most Muslim league bases. Um, that's the top priority for remove. So uh, we're gonna go over here and they're gonna remove it from Punjab. So that will go to available for them. And then this card is out, play. And uh, just to do a quick count over here, one, two, three, four, five cards are out of play. That means we're starting to get into the realm where campaign cards are eligible to appear at any time. Although chances are lowest that it's gonna be the next card. So they're done. We are now available. And of course this was our card, which means the Raj will go first and then us. This event's not very helpful for us, a little bit helpful for them. 
And then uh, we would get to go first on the next one though. So depending on what they do, we have some interesting choices. Move two activists from the map out of play. I remember playing this one. Add up to four activists to protest spaces, two of them from out of play. This is actually perfect for us because we actually have two available and two, or actually four that are out of play, but we'd be able to move two of them from out of play. And we'd be able to put them in protest spaces. It's actually really cool, but at the same time, I need to get more protest spaces out. But so let's, we'll, we'll see how this plays. Um, okay, so uh, first of all, let's do their turn. They are, current events critical and effective, no. Next eligible could choose critical event. And the answer is no. We're next eligible and it's not critical for us. We'll be first eligible on an upcoming critical event. Uh, no. It's not even critical for them. And so they're going to do ops plus SA. All right. So now they're going to get to do a full action, which could be really hefty. Now, for us, it's either do the event or we get a limited operation. So remember, I was telling you I would like to do, um, but then again, you know, the full operation for us is not that exciting. Uh, moving Gandhi is really the best thing we can do, but uh, we need to place protest markers first, and then we move Gandhi. Uh, that's actually not so bad. Um, so uh, we definitely need to get some protest markers down, though. Uh, so if I did a limited operation... I can only basically place a protest marker in one place. And uh, so I'm going to check real quick. There's two actions that let us place protest markers. One is demonstrate that lets you put it in destinations with protest or Gandhi. Uh, that lets you move activists and may place a protest marker if none. So that lets you move activists from places that have Gandhi or protest markers and then if you move into a place that does not have a protest you get to place one. So I could move, so right here I have two activists for example, I have three up there. I could like move into the United Provinces for example and place a protest marker there. That's what that would allow me to do. Or um, now because it's a limited operation I can only move once and place one protest marker. That's what sucks. Civil disobedience, any place with protest or Gandhi, plus any place with activists up to restraint. And restraint's only one, so it's not as uh, exciting. We could place a protest marker, which that means we would only be able to place one anyways. Um, and then I would choose the Madras presidency for that and get a protest marker going there. And um, that would be it for my limited operation. Now, if I, uh, yeah, I'm going to pass. So I'm not going to go take a turn. I'm going to pass. You do get to move one to available. And um, as much as I would like to place activists, which is on that next card, it is actually really nice to be able to place four activists. Um, I'm not... Um, I need to get protest markers out. And I need to do this before the game ends. So I'm gonna do, I wanted to get a full up plus special activity. So we're gonna let them take a full turn and then we get to go first next turn. So we're gonna screw one of these guys out of a turn. And that's fine by me. Okay, are there six cubes total in protest spaces? The answer is, mm, well, no. There's only two protest spaces on the board and there's three cubes. So the answer is no. Any Tupac provinces? Yes. Uh, die roll? Yes. Deploy. Select cities using place cubes. Get three troops to each selected city. Then add sepoys to place up to six cubes. Okay. Then get three troops to remaining. Look at that spelling there. Remaining. It's, a, it's the motorcycle action. Remaining. <laughs> Sorry. That did not pass QA, quality control there, GMT, but I don't mind. I know what it means. <laughs> um, and then move two cubes from out of play to available, troops first. Okay, this is 
a good move for the AI. So let's look at what they uh, want to do for place cubes. All right, place cubes, that's here. They want to go to a space with no rush control. Well, they're placing them in a city. So there is, this is out, the two pop is out, uh, no protest, the, all the cities have no protest. Fewest active adversaries, now nothing's active. There's no unrest in a city adjacent to the most adversaries. Now that one um, is interesting. Uh, and it's not active adversaries, it's just adversaries. So, um, for example, here it's two, and I'm going to count the two that are in there as well, and make that four, right? Up there, uh, there's one in the city, two, and then three, four, five, and then the base itself is six. So Delhi has six. Madras is adjacent to two, three, four, five, right? And then here, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, 8, 9, 10. So Calcutta wins the winter chicken dinner. So they're going to deploy uh, 6. And then they do this up to restraint. And restraint is only a 1. So they're only going to do this in one city. Um, so it says get 3 troops to each selected city. So there's 1, 2, 3, right? So we're going to add 2 there. And then it says... Um, Add supplies to get up to six. So I added only two cubes so far, so I'm going to add four supplies. And so Calcutta is going to look like that. Um, and then it says get three troops to remaining cities, which um, it would do, except the restraint uh, limits them to only one space. So this is an interesting one because this is a case where uh, troops are free to deploy. And in our case, we would have been able to deploy our troops to all these other cities, no problem. But here the AI is actually getting their wrists, uh, are, you know, their hands are tied in a way that we wouldn't. Uh, but in other places, the AI gets to do more than we could do. So it's interesting how it's sort of like swinging from one end of the pendulum to the other. And then move two cubes from out of play to available, and it says troops first. So we're going to grab two troops here put those in. So um, it was a good action for them. Um, the restraint is what's hammering them. So having low restraint is actually sort of good for us in that case. So now they're going to do the special activity. They want to do martial law, where unrest and no support using remove. Um, Lilithgow is not the viceroy. And by the way, when they did the sweep, um, the activation was a one anyways. So even if the restraint was higher, they would not have been able to do more than, or I'm sorry, even if it wasn't a limited uh, thing, they can only do one sweep. So, uh, okay. So if we go to this guy, martial law, that's something we never did because I'm not very impressed with it. So martial law occurs in one to two spaces with cubes and activists. So it wants to go where there's unrest and no support, using remove. So it says, in each space, remove one activist to available for every cube and remove any protest. If the space is a city, province, or state, add an unrest marker. Shift the space one level towards neutral. There's all kinds of stuff going on here. So uh, where unrest and no support, using remove. So remove, of course, is uh, what they're saying is the priority chart. And for remove, you can see they want to go to a space where there's no Raj control. And um, this is not an assault. So two pop places with a protest marker and an unrest marker, um, preferably Muslim state if there's ties. So, um, so unrest and no support uh, is pretty easy. There's uh, only one place on the board that has that, and that's uh, East Bengal. Okay, so what they want to do is use remove. So remove says remove one activist to available. So that would be this one gets removed. So the Muslims lost one of their activists. Now all the gorillas are untouched. Okay. Okay. 
and then remove any protest markers. Now what's interesting is that one doesn't have a protest marker, but that's fine. Um, add an unrest. I see. Since there's already an unrest there, they're picking an unrest place because there's already an unrest marker there, so you can't add another unrest marker. That's actually quite brilliant. I don't know why I didn't think about that. And then shift the level, shift it one level towards neutral, which means that the uh, active oppose goes away. So uh, this hurts us hard. Uh, they don't get any points for this, but we both lose too. So we're going to zero here. Um, okay. So uh, this can happen in two spaces. So that was the first place. The next place would be a space with no Raj control, two pop, with a protest marker. So that would be Bihar. That's the only other, that's the only place with a protest marker. Um, in fact, that would have been the top priority even before uh, East Bengal. East Bengal is actually the next priority because the unrest check is after this. This one would have been first. Oh, but there's no cubes here. Never mind. It has to be a place where there's cubes. So there's no protest marker there. So then, um, you know, for example, there's an unrest marker here, but there's no cubes. And it's looking for a Muslim state, not a Muslim province. So... We may have to go to a random space. So it's doing a two-pop. There's a two-pop here with an activist, and there's a two-pop there with an activist. Those are the only two. They both have Raj control. Um, this one has a protest marker. That's where they want to do it, where there's a protest marker. So they actually would have chosen this one. And of course, this guy. So they're hammering them again. Um, and it says remove one activist. This is not an activist. So that goes away. And uh, the revolutionaries are gonna score two points. And that wasn't very effective. And it's gonna move this one towards neutral, which is already neutral. So, Okay. So, da -da -dum. Uh, that's the card. All right. So they go to uneligible. Now we have three of us here. Like I said, this is our card. The um, this is not a bad action for us, but I want to do a different one. I want to get protest markers out, and then this is the next one. And you can see we're dead last on that one. Add up to six sepoys to up to three states. And each of the three princely states remove all but one. This is actually really nice for us, but uh, we wouldn't even get to take a turn, I don't think. So we're first, and we want to do this. So let's figure out what they would do. Uh, the Muslims go next. So uh, they would... Active faction will be first eligible and upcoming critical. Nope. Is the event effective? They would add four activists to protest spaces. That is effective. So they're going to do the event like so. Okay. <clears throat> so let's do our action first. And we want to... We basically want to do civil disobedience and place protests and occupy railways. So it goes in each places with protest or Gandhi plus spaces with activists up to restraint. The restraint's only one. So we only get to place one if we do that. Here we could do destinations with protest or Gandhi plus other destinations up to restraint. So the place with Gandhi is a freebie 
and then we get to do one more place with restraint. Does that make sense? So um, we only have activists in a few places, although we could activate them in a city. I'm not as excited about that. Up here, we can move them from to destinations with Protester Gandhi plus other destinations up to restraint. You see, so the restraint is like anywhere that has a protest marker or Gandhi is a free freebie, and then we get to do extra ones up to restraint, but the restraint's only one. So uh, let's do the one with Gandhi first. We're gonna add a protest marker here, which then gives us two active. And this, of course, does nothing for us, but later when we do non-cooperation, everywhere there's a protest, we get to manipulate that. That's what we're trying to do, but we're having a hard time. Um, the next protest marker would go here, and this is the place up to the restraint. So we just have, we have one, two, three active. We cause them to lose control. So they lose two points, like so. We are sitting on zero points right now. That is ridiculously low. Okay, and then I can't do any more. I mean, I could put, um, I can actually place two more protest markers, but my action doesn't allow me to do more. But then now we get to do the special op. So here we can remove adversaries. So uh, we can remove an active piece um, anywhere that has our pieces. Well, like for example, I can remove the Muslim base there or I can remove the cubes from Punjab. Uh, I'm not sure I want to do Persuade. I think I want to move Gandhi. And um, what it does is uh, I can move him to any space. Then I can remove an unrest marker and any protest marker or place a Congress activist. So <clears throat> what I'm thinking I want to do is I'm going to move him to Bombay Presidency and we're going to remove their unrest marker. Uh, to prevent the revolutionaries from getting a little out of control there. I could have placed an activist, um, but there's already no control from the Raj, so I don't need to do that. Okay, so that's our turn, and uh, then uh, we get to do theirs. So we're going to add four activists to protest spaces, up to two from out of play. All right, so uh, we gotta look at their priority chart. So if placing activists for them, they wanna go where the most Muslim League bases are first. Then they wanna go to a Muslim space, of course, and then a place with protest. So those are the three top priorities. Well, there's only one, there's, there's two places with a Muslim base, okay? Then they want to go to a Muslim space and then a place with protests. Well, actually, both of these are still all three of those. Then they want to go where there's Raj control. Well, that's here. So they want to go there first. And remember, it was two from out of play and then two from this. So um, this is an event. And it's like, okay, well, how many would they place here? Um, I would say they would place as many as it takes to take control. And um, I know that isn't specified anywhere, but it's the only thing that makes sense. So they would place one, two, and then a third one, which would then cause this one to lose control. So they would lose two points. They're down to 18 now. And then um, since there's a base over here, they would place another activist here, and actually these both flip up because there's a protest marker there. So that's how I would play that for the AI, and I think that's what makes sense. They put in just enough. Well, in fact, they only needed to add two, and then they would put two over here because that's three. To three, that's enough to make them lose control. So then we uh, split it evenly amongst them. Okay, so I want to do a real quick uh, sanity check with the score. Here you can see two, four, six for the revolutionaries, and they're at six points. Um, there's no opposition anywhere on the board, so both the Muslims and myself are sitting at zero. <laughs> Ridiculous. And then we have him at 18, the Raj. 
So let's check that real quick. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That's what I got. Let's try this one more time. I'm going to go backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen. So I'm off by one point somehow. And I'm confident in the 17 because I believe I didn't count twice there like I was supposed to. All right, so somehow I forgot to take a point away from it. Okay, uh, that's the uh, turn. I'm going to end the uh, video here. Thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Stay healthy and safe. And I should be able to get to this next turn in five to ten minutes. Let's hope that's all the longer it takes. I'm being paged from work. Thanks a lot.